Okay. Um, just always need my notes. Reports. Just going to spend a little bit of time, 30 minutes hopefully, talking about some of the things that our journey at the school I'm currently at um, in regards to reports. I'd really like the wind to be a cyclone, but I know that that doesn't work for our school community. So it's really what are we trying to do or, or some of the things that have happened. So some of it's thinking that, that I've been involved in, some of it's some events or some different things that have all led to um, where we're currently at. So really just sharing a bit of our, our journey. Nearly 12 months ago I actually put out a tweet on a Sunday afternoon about um, after a weekend spent, spent um, proofreading reports. There really has to be a better way. I don't know if Catholics and independents use QuickVic, but government primary schools do and it's it's horrible. I've hated it ever since it started. So that was my that was our starting point. Um, luckily enough, last year, and I don't know if Scott's here today. No, Scott Duncan and I, and a large number of other people, um, were invited to be part of the department project on looking at assessment from birth to 18, and how could we integrate that so that it actually went with the child and it was relevant, it was ongoing, it was about building on prior knowledge. And it was about looking at assessment being um, that continuum of student learning. So where, where are the students on the learning continuum and where, where to next? And also about what is the purpose of reporting that assessment back to parents? So we were involved in a whole range of um, discussions and opportunities to participate in groups with that. Hopefully that's going to lead somewhere and hopefully there's some things coming out of that in the next few months from the department around that, that approach to assessment. Um, at school, at our school, we had three or four people involved and we kept saying, okay, given that we're having all of these discussions, is that really reflective of what it looks like at our school? And it wasn't. Um, in the midst of all of this, we've been doing a lot of, or I've been doing a lot of thinking and talking about continuum. And on a continuum for adults, students, parents, anywhere, you can't get to there until you've gone all those different points along the way. And we've spent so much of our time trying to get to there that we've forgotten about what are the steps along the way. So that was really impact, starting to impact our thinking as well around a whole range of things. And I can't actually move on to I close all the tweets. <laughs> tweets. A hard moment for me that really then started to change my thinking was as I was at a conference and I was listening to a speaker and as teachers we're always waiting for the right answer or looking for the right answer and sometimes it impedes change because we won't, we sort of want to get it right the first time. So, and I thought, yep, that's what we kept trying to do. We know we want to change but we're trying to get to that end of the continuum on what it should look like without looking at what we can do along the way. So we started to, I started to think it's not about the right answer or the right way or the best way about what's the next way for us in, in regards to terms of reporting. So all these things have been happening and then, oh, I don't know if anyone else has seen the F10 curriculum plan for reporting guidelines from VCA that came out in February. If you haven't, access them, read the reporting bit. If your school leaders haven't seen them, make sure they do because there's some things in there that we went, aha. So sitting home reading reading that and I actually, there's, I'll point out a couple of bits and pieces. Um, reporting hasn't, a chart, hasn't changed in the last 100 years. So they're now saying that as of 2015 there won't be a single prescribed template for reporting student achievement. Um, it's about uh, the decision making is at the school level and it's about providing capacity to adjust reports to reflect what you're doing at your school. Autonomous, flexible, no longer mandated, timing, frequency, format of reports, and that now is up to the school. So I read all of this and I was getting very excited in my lounge room on a Monday afternoon. And I actually emailed um, the, the leadership team that I work with at my school and said, read this, what can we do now that won't have a huge impact, like, like won't tip teachers over the edge because we all know what reporting season is like won't get the community offside but actually can improve how we communicate student learning to parents. Fully expecting them to go, lovely but it's too hard, I can't do anything. Ah, but we didn't. We actually got a reply back going, let's, let's try. Let's take it to our school 
um, improvement team. So our PLT leaders, so sent the same email off to them with the same question. I think it was worded a bit more politely, but the same question. And we actually came back and everyone's gone, okay, we can do this. So we then went through a whole series of conversations with all our teachers, um, backwards and forwards, what could reports look like? What are we trying to do? What's our purpose? What do we want them to look like? Not in two years' time, when we're not doing twice a year reports, but right now, what change can we make now? Um, and we use ILPs or individual learning plans a lot at school and the teachers really liked the way they'd got those working. So that's basically what we've ended up with is that our reports now, as of this semester, very much follow the ILP format. Um, that's a very, uh, I've made up report because it's all about me. It's not really. But that sort of, and numeracy is in there too, but that's sort of what it's going to look like. Be done in Word, we're still using the, um, the um, you know, lovely progression points document that comes out of QuickBit. But it's very much going right now, what we're really trying to communicate to our parents is where the student is right now and what's their next step and, and how are they going to get there. Um, I know that I don't want to be there. I want to be right down the end and I want our school to be right down the end where twice yearly reports are no longer what we're doing. But at the moment, our teachers, our community, we weren't ready for that. What we're hoping we've done is take a step in that direction. Thank you.